Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai and we are finally getting back into some more Ren. A ton, a ton, a ton of requests for me to check out Money Game Part 3. I was on a short little um, YouTube hiatus for about three months, so hence why this took me so long to bring this out. But I'm finally back in a new place after my new move and I'm so excited to dive deeper into Ren as he is easily a modern day bard, one of the most unique voices and storytellers out there of our time, and I just can't get enough of him. So really do hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do enjoy my videos, be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss my videos ever again. That being said, let's get started with Ren's Money Game Part 3. you a story about a boy named Jimmy. One years old and his first words were mine, mine, Jimmy. Two years old he was walking, three years old walking quickly, four years old he was running round the pavements of his city, five years old and his daddy told him, listen here son, you got to learn to be a man, a man he works for what he wants. Six years old and he's reading writing, top of the bunch and when he's seven his regression made him student number one. Eight years old and he's praised for unusual grades. Nine, his parents paid for private school to nurture the flame. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, he ascends and ascends. His daddy tells him, son, money is the means to all ends. Fourteen, solving complex mathematic equations. At fifteen, IQ 150, still elevating. Sixteen, he develops complex software code that detects weaknesses in cybersecurity protocols. Seventeen, and he sells his vision. Keeping the share, not yet an adult, but he's practically a millionaire. 18, and his daddy tells him, Now you're a man. This world don't give a damn about you, so take all that you can. 19, he turns a profit, stocks and shares, invest in product. 20, double down deposits. 21, his income rockets. 22, he learns the truth is just an obstacle to wealth. If you manipulate the data, then the lie will sell itself. 23, a life of luxury, crystal and cocaine. 24, he makes the Forbes list. They're applauding his name 25 and his daddy tells him Listen here son While you're sitting in that palace That 
don't mean that you won. 26, a business shift. He switches business to arms. He's 27, dealing nuclear and shells in Iran. 28, inside the Senate, money bought him a seat. He's 29, a role of counsel in the president's suite. Now he's 30. His daddy says you're losing the race. You're just a servant to the king, not even in second place. 31, a big maneuver for his daddy's approval. Moving imports over borders from the exports out of Cuba. 32, moving grams, growing kilos to tons. He's 33, filling warehouses with powder and guns. 34, turf war with nobody to stop it. Blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket. <laughs> Holy shit, I was already f four minutes and 33 seconds into the song and i've i i, I said it right at the beginning I, I feel like ren has such a good ass way of telling a story you know uh, he's not just you know giving you bars he's giving you you know so much theatrics so much you know uh, where even if you can't relate to something you instantly put yourself in in you know the shoes of the person or the story that he's telling and you become so immersed like it just it, it, it's so gravitating it pulls you in and you're just locked and loaded and just you find yourself kind of just forgetting where you are for a second. You're just kind of listening to all of this. He is such an incredible storyteller. Every single song I've seen him do, I just feel like, holy fuck. Like, I, I forget how to breathe. Like, I, I'm like over here trying to uh, calm myself down and remember I have to still be a person and breathe. It's just like, I'm just, I'm just so enamored with him. You know, he is so unique. He's so incredible. He just has such a great way of grabbing the audience, pulling them in and just kind of shaking you and making you experience whatever it is he's trying to tell you and he does it in such a such a beautiful way um yeah i'm gonna go back a little because i know we're getting a phone call i i want i really want to just listen to everything but damn holy fuck this is amazing let's continue for turf war with nobody to stop it blind eye from the popo inside of his pocket Thirty-five. He gets the call. I'm sorry, son. Bears your father had a heart attack. I'm sorry, he's gone. Thirty-six. Getting pissed off, abusing his product. Thirty-seven. Eyes glazed. Disposition demonic. Thirty-eight. With a prostitute, a moment of passion. Heating up a silver spoon and then chasing the dragon. Thirty-nine. Getting reckless and hungry for power. Daddy's words are still driving him to kill and devour. Makes a move against the cartel, but the strategy's flawed. They retaliate and leave him in a hospital ward A bullet buried in his vertebra And one in his leg The doctor sighs and says I don't think you'll be walking again Fuck Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy. He was 40, and he cursed the words, my, my, gimme. 41, he wasn't walking. 42, not walking quickly. 43, never running round the pavements of his city. 44, inside a palace with a mountain of gold. But those riches turn to rubble when perspective evolves. Weighing heavy on his conscience is the value of gold. Lamborghini for a life, trading money for souls. Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free. Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need. And his example is exaggerated versions of me. And it's a version of him. And it's a version of she. And it's a version of you. There's no escape. Escaping the blame, the way we live is parasitic. Fuck the money and fame. Call the music. This isn't entertainment. This is real life. The way we live is lunacy. Community it declines. Hyperpolarized, always fighting, then we divide. Truth is less important than the money that we designed. Money's an invention. Politics from our invention. They all come from people's ideas. Did I mention? Borders an invention. Law and order fuel the tension. It leads to people killing each other. 
my solution? Everything is subject to change. We could build utopias if individuals were taught to use their brains. But if we teach kids in schools to always be sheep and put themselves before the herd if there's more money for me, then there's no future I see where the humans survive with parasites inside a petri dish with cannibal minds. Mold will grow upon the surface and consumes till it dies. And our fate could be the same without this story to the wise. Forty-five. Jimmy comes home out of the rain, soaking wet upon a wheelchair, drinking the game. He is everything he wants, he is fortune and fame. He's a fortunate fool with an unfortunate fate. With a 45 caliber aimed at his brain. 45 a fitting number, cause his age is the same. Here's the words of his father. It's such a damn shame. Then he presses on the trigger of a money game. I feel like I, 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 I felt like for a second I even kind of forgot where I was like like I like oh shit I'm here recording a fucking video and I, I'm just kind of you know watching all of this unfold and you know I, I feel like Ren is just so good at telling a story you know I feel like we all when we first heard you know the tale of Ginny and Screech we were just like kind of just glued to the screen and just you know uh, nothing else mattered in that moment. And here it's the same thing. You know, every time, any single time I hear anything from Ren, I just feel like nothing in the world matters. It's just this, the story, his heart, his soul, everything that he's pouring out to us. And he does such a goddamn good way uh, of doing so. You know, I, I feel like uh, it's not all about like the rhymes and delivery. It's just, you know, the way he just... The, the facial expressions, everything, you know, the little details um, with, you know, uh, the way that it was all in one, um, you know, scene is all one scene and there's so much going on and the way that it flows so effortlessly, like the timing, everything is just so damn precise. Nothing feels sloppy or anything. It just kind of goes with the song. Um, it's nine minutes and 19 seconds, but it just felt so, you know, cohesive. Didn't feel like nothing was out of place. It was just like, perfect perfection and like from start to finish it was just perfect and i loved the touches i love the touches with the orchestra i love the touches with you know the bat people in the background kind of adding to the the words and making it a lot stronger it was just so much truth in there and i feel like that's why he does what he does because uh, the delivery everything is always so spot on the way that you know the intention is always there because it kind of gets you immersed you you go into this little like almost like you're Alice going into Wonderland and you're just so immersed, you're paying full attention to everything that is happening and you soak everything in, in so well. And he's always talking about real life things, whether it be, you know, stories that, you know, anyone can relate to, stories of things that, you know, even if this person is in a, 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 a made up character, you know, this is something that is still very true and happening right before our eyes. And sometimes we don't even realize it because we're so used to sadness and death and loss and violence and greed and all of this stuff happening around the world that sometimes we become kind of blind to it. Uh, we don't even see it if it would have hit us in, in, in the face. And he puts it all out there. He personifies all of the horribleness of the world, all the horribleness in our minds, everything that is kind of, you know, wrong with society kind of puts it in a way that you can kind of like easily digest it and realize like, holy shit, yeah, this is actually happening in the world. And you can kind of open your eyes. He just kind of shakes you and kind of forces all of that knowledge and truth down your throat in such a tasteful, artistic, theatrical way. He is a modern day bard. No one else is doing anything like Ren is right now. He is truly just one of a kind, one in a million, 
so unique and I'm just so happy to be able to live in a time where Ren is here um, that way I could fully appreciate him and wow yeah um, I, I've said this before <laughs> you know you watch my videos I appreciate that but please 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 go some support uh, show some support to Ren follow his YouTube follow his you know socials all of that he's doing amazing things he's constantly putting out great content and I love 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 every time I see something new from him I just soak it all in and I can't wait I'm so excited that I'm back sorry this video took so long I was you know, going through a lot of life changes. So I was off YouTube for a bit, but now that I'm back, I'm so happy to continue to enjoy my journey with Ren with, you know, all of y'all. Um, Thank you so much for telling me about this song. I cannot wait for more. I cannot wait for what to, uh, you know, what's to come in the future. Um, I know Ren has been putting a lot of uh, great stuff out there. So I can't wait. I really, really am just so excited. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss my videos ever again. Um, you can hang out when I'm not on YouTube. I also live stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Center time. Love to get to know you all a little bit better. But other than that, I have videos every single day. So stay tuned. In the meantime, please take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so very much. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.